Adventures. Welcome everyone to Chooks Outdoor Adventures presented by Olight Pump Fest 2023. I'm just kidding, I, I don't work for Olight anymore and I just say that to piss them off. Anyways, we're all here to check out the Sig Sauer P320 X10 comp that just came out. Someone was arguing with me yesterday that I was misleading by calling it a carry comp, but they literally call it the X carry grip module made for carry. And oh, it's a little low, I'll show a better thing. But I, I did cannibalize a holster that fits it and it does carry very well. I have to say it is uh, not subcompact, but it is considered surprisingly a compact size. I think the uh, butt sticks out a little bit for a compact pistol, but I have to say I am impressed so far. I did take it to the range. I will show that footage. And the big question is, is this going to replace my FN 510 MRD, and I'm not totally sold on it, but it is very nice. I think if you are a SIG P320 guy and you like 10 millimeter, this could be a great choice for you, especially for carry. The compensated slide is, is really interesting. It's got that port in it. We're gonna take a close look at that and talk about that. But one of the big questions I get is, I know I've done the videos about the P320 nine millimeter having all those problems and uh, the reports are saying they're actually going off in holsters without anybody touching them. That has never happened as far as I know in their 10 millimeter version. That is all in the nine millimeter duty versions. And uh, even the P365, has not had that problem specifically. It's got a different problem where you'll pull the trigger, it won't go off, and then the person will shake it and it will go off while the trigger is still pulled. That's been documented very well and there's actually some channels that have videos of that happening. However, I have not heard any reports of unintentional discharges on the X10 series and it's a popular firearm, a lot of people have them and love them. It's got the bull barrel. Uh, we're going to look at all the features, but I have to say I am pretty happy with it so far. So let's take a close look at it and roll the range footage. All right. First shots with the new X10 comp. Let's see if it slams shut on its own. It did not slam shut, but it knocked around out. That was weird. 14 rounds. Oh man, that's hard to put in there. It knocks around out if you try to slam. Okay, first shots, we're gonna do 30 rounds. Interesting, but that is so weird. I have to slam it in there. Okay. I need to work on the red dot, but recoil is not bad for such a short little 10 millimeter. Let's try some different ammo, do a few more rounds through it. Love it. <laughs> Every time I put a, I slam it in there with the slide open, a round gets popped out. That's weird. I've never had that happen on a semi-auto before. Comfortable to shoot. Very comfortable to shoot. I am liking it so far. I think it's a keeper. Just for the heck of it, I got 11 rounds of Underwood 
200 grain coated high tech hard cast. We're going to see how it does in the new X10 comp. Oh, 17 rounds, and I knocked the stand down. Wow. You see my flinch? I got to stop it. Got to stop that. I hope Chuck's not watching. Very impressive. Very impressive. I uh, hit the steel at 17 yards. That never happens for me. First shot like that. But uh, yeah, I think it's a keeper. Maybe not be my favorite, but it's really nice. God fucking damn it. Fuck. Okay, here is exactly how the pistol came. They always come in these crummy plastic bags, which I don't really like. Um, had one of these things in it, and this mag was in a plastic bag. Two magazines, very disappointed. I think Glock sets a gold standard on its Gen 5s by having all of them come with three magazines out of the box and I don't like that. As you can see, I did put this Siley uh, Wolf X Pro on here because I wanted to test it out. Uh, I did read that some people bolted RMR footprints directly on. You're really not supposed to do that because it's the footprint for the Delta Point Pro or whatever, and you really need a plate for uh, the two indentions up front for it to sit perfectly, but I did get it to uh, clamp on there with no wobbling and I'm you know gonna put the plate back on so it does come with the plate and two screws but otherwise it doesn't come with a whole lot except for the two magazines and the box there are no plates for extra RMR compatibility the case was fairly nice but what you see is what you get and I'm really intrigued by it. It is the 3.8 inch barrel and it does have a bull barrel just like the full size X10. So this is a beefy 10 millimeter barrel. As you can see, I have shot it today. But I really like the fact that you get a really beefy bull barrel. I think that helps with reliability. But this is the big thing right here. They call it the integrated expansion chamber. So as you can see, it extends farther than the barrel. And that is supposed to act as a compensator as it's shooting gas up that way and helping with the recoil. They say it helps up to 20% to mitigate muzzle flip felt recoil. I'm not sure if it's that high, but I did notice a difference. It, it does help. Absolutely. I like this red dot. So just starting at the front, we've got some nice serrations in the front. Rear serrations are nice too. These x-ray sights, x-ray three night sights are nice. Definitely a fan of those. The nitron finish is a nice touch too. I, I don't know why they just don't make all SIGs Legions because I'm a big fan of the Legion line and I like the lighter gray color and the finish on those. So, I mean, if they come out with a Legion version of this, I'm going to replace this with the Legion version. Just a really diehard Legion fan. But the, the ergonomics are just wonderful. That's something that SIG knocked out of the park if you look how thin this area is your hand just gets in there so nice love that beaver tail on the p320 series and this x carry grip module is great and then you've got the option i believe it can be the fire control unit can be taken out just like the p320s nine millimeter and 40 series so you Conceivably, you could go back and forth between 45 ACP and your 10 millimeter, which would be an awesome option. But this grip texture is nice. Kind of reminds me of the Smith & Wesson 
Um, I don't really have any complaints about it. It would be nice to have some more grip texture along the edges here. Uh, they do a nice undercut. Just the, the ergonomics are great. Grip angle and everything. I definitely shoot it better than a standard Glock grip angle. So uh, I did a video on the trigger, but the trigger is very impressive. I think it came out to three pounds, five ounce average of five pulls I did. So nice light trigger, good reset. Nothing bad to say about the trigger. I mean, it feels spongy when you're great reset when you're dry firing, but when you're firing it, obviously you're not going to feel any of that. So the overall length is 7.6 inches. The height is 5.6 inches and it's a little wide, 1.4 inches. I definitely would like to see on a carry version, something a little thinner. I wish they wouldn't have done the ambi slide release. I'm sure that adds to some of it because if they, they just had it interchangeable where you could, uh, you know, put it on the right side if you wanted, but left that flat, I would be so much happier. I don't know why companies do that because it's just going to add more width right there. And I feel like they could have shaved some of that off, but you can carry it. It does conceal very well. And this would be a good comparison with the 3.8 XDM Elite with the 3.8 inch barrel. Obviously this slide is going to be a little longer because it's got that compensator right there or the the comp slide as they call it this x carry grip module is awesome they do point out that it's not compatible with nine millimeter 357 sig and 40 smith and wesson parts so hopefully they'll have more options for the 10 and 45 acp models and grip modules i'm sure they will so it's considered a compact even though it's cut you know, full size magazine, 15 rounds, 15 plus one, very cool package. It's a little on the heavier side, 32.3 ounces without a magazine. So obviously loaded, it's gonna be a decent package on your belt, but really cool. And this is the big thing about it that, that makes it stand out so much. It's no other 10 millimeter that's produced on a major scale like this has something like that. So, you know, there's some custom ones, obviously, but this is the first one in its class with that integrated expansion chamber in the slide. Very impressed with this pistol. Well, there you go. I did put uh, 200 plus rounds through it and I, I was going to clean it and lube it because I've had problems with brand new firearms. I've always said it should just fire out of the box without doing anything to it like all my Glocks have always done except for that last Glock 20. So I was going to clean and lube it and I totally spaced it. I rushed to the range and did that today and it no malfunctions. Hard cast coated under wood. It, it ran everything. I fed it and uh, I am very impressed with it. I am not to the point where this is going to be the, the be all 10 millimeter, but it's up there. It, it's in my top favorite 10 millimeters now for sure. I don't really have too many bad things to say about it. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a great option. And like you said, I, I have some friends that are dedicated SIG guys. They love the full size X10. Like my buddy Frank, he's had really good luck with that full size X10 and he really wants to check this out. He's very interested in getting one. So I, I think it's great. I really don't have too much bad to say about it. I give it two thumbs up. I'm gonna do some more testing with it. And the big question of course is how does it match with the 510 MRD. They are very similar sized, at least the slides are. Uh, so next Saturday, I will have a comparison with that FN. But thank you for tuning in. Please become a patron if you can. I got Chook hoodies down below and it's Chook, your friend in the field. My name is Chook. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Shoot out adventures! Why don't you call